Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 227 of Factorio with Angels and Bob's Mods. Well, we are just trying to design a nuclear power plant solution. Uh, we want some of the more advanced turbines and heat exchangers and heat pipes, just because that would make the whole setup a little bit shorter. Also, we need enough space in here for an underground pipe coming up and then a pipe across. And that's all hoping that we can carry enough steam through these. How much can these consume? 60 per second. That's not too bad. With 10, that's 600. A pipe can carry more. But we actually need what? 900 for this. A pipe can carry that as well. But pressure might be a problem still. But let's try it out anyway. We need to actually go and manufacture the better, better steam engines, heat pipes, and heat exchangers. And some better underground pipe as well. Or longer underground pipe. Let's hope I have enough for everything here, or have what I need for everything. Two, tier three, tier two of this, tier three. So we need gold and silver for this, and those are gonna be the main issues here. I don't know if I even get silver in here. Probably not. And apparently we don't have any more aluminium either. Because, yeah, we have too much iron and nickel or zinc or whatever this is. Iron, though. Shouldn't we be able to get rid of that? So this is called iron ore, right? Yes. Is this also called iron ore? Yes. We have three trains going to them. So apparently we have a third iron ore maybe? Somewhere. Is it possible to disable a train station? I guess you can do that. It would be nice if they would prioritize this iron ore first of all. So if you go grab some more, then we will be producing a little bit more alumina. We're making tier 2 of these. We're not making tier 3 because of missional. Apparently we are lacking a lot of stuff here. And we're lacking ceramic pipe and the heat pipe and we're lacking silver for that. And cover tungsten plate. Let's start with the things that we can do right now, like ceramic pipe. We 
Und dann mit dem Hai. Okay. We needed some additional underground pipe. Are we producing any of that stuff up here? Nah. Good. So now I can go far enough. The silver we need to bring in, some other tungsten we need to bring in. And then we should have everything. Let's go have a look at that at the multi-processing area, just to make the first few small amount of that. We don't have anything like it here, right? We are making sync all, but I don't think we're making any plate. No, not sync silver, sorry. I'm tired or something. Uh, we're doing this. We can apparently just smelt silver. We could also smelt it into. Ingots and then into molten and then bitter, I guess. At least it's pretty straightforward. I think we even have silver nitrate, is that correct? We could get a bit more efficiency out of our silver ore with that. I think we're exporting this for batteries or something. Needed for silver oxide, which is then needed for the silver sink battery here. Yeah. So we should have the silver nitride. We can just smelt that. Let's grab some machines first. Maybe pin this. Blast furnace, a induction furnace, and some casting machines. Sure. We could do strength casting, but I don't think you get any efficiency from that. It's just more dense for transport. This really needs to move. Something like that. So now it's not in the way here anymore. Do we do blast furnaces here as well? Nah, we do them down here it seems. Let's 
Priscilla. This and some fuel. Not sure how much of that we need, but we can always figure it up. We're actually making the silver upside right here. Well, that's what we need, but. The silver sink or silver nitrate, is that what it's called? Yeah, nitrate is probably around here somewhere as well. You make Molten silver. And you make silver plate. Good, and then we export this. Do we have any trains currently that could get this on as well? The plutonium and whatever this is. So this train. And it's sodium cobaltate. Does not get anything else, yes. Let's request some. Wait, it's not going to the main. Yes, it is going to the main base. Never mind me. Silver plate. Well, I'm not sure. We don't need that much, and we're not going to fill up the train anyway, so. This is gonna end up being Cover Tungsten. Wait, Cover Tungsten is just mixed metals, right? <coughs> tungsten powder and cover plate. And tungsten powder is probably not the easiest thing in the world, no. But we have tungsten already, so we should also be getting that from somewhere. I think we have tungsten powder somewhere in all of this. Tungsten powder mixture. What's this tungsten? Tungsten powder, where does that come from? Let's say that this is done and add a new one for tungsten cover plate. So a blast furnace somewhere is making this. Can I find it? Oh, I'm healing. Yep. We have tungsten powder and ammonium paratungstate. Good. So we actually have this. We just need to smelt it in an electric multi-purpose furnace. If we have cover as well at least. 
that might not be a necessity. No, we did do cover here at some point. And we have this. We just need to cut it. Which is fine. I don't want to do it here because that requires a... Oh, that offers a fluid and we might as well save that space for something that requires a fluid then. Construction robots. Thank you. You will do cover tungsten plate. Best stuff. And I guess we will just make the cover right here. So cut this, please. should stop requesting the cover sheet for healing. Alright, because we're also producing cover somewhere else. Yep. So let's stop this request. of cover plate. Apparently we need more starch chests. get some cover tungsten plate now and we can just request that for the same train If we get up here and just one of them is empty, we should probably leave, right? But let's not. We could end up in a situation where we don't get anything for one of the veins then, and it will just never deliver anything. But we got a little bit of tungsten up. That's good. Let's go finish these eight water balls just to get that flashing light out. Oh, let's ignore those because they are not... Oh, they are in range. Dang it. Done. 
Let's go and see if we have the possibility to make everything now and then. Heat pipe needs more aluminium, so aluminium is not the problem. It makes sense. We apparently have a train up here that is trying to deliver some. We have some. We're just waiting for it to be smelted up. Wait. We do not require. Why can you not just take the lower tier stuff as an input? Now we don't ever need this for anything. I hate that. We don't need the silver. I know it might not make a lot of sense that you just coat some cover stuff in silver and then gold, but it's just so annoying in the game that it isn't like that. Oh, get rid of that. Should have a train coming with more cover tungsten. And it was just here apparently. Just not with a lot. But we are making some heat pipe, which is then put directly into these. Cover tungsten pipe is needed. Basically a lot of copper tungsten is needed, but we will have to be a bit patient with that. Maybe try and scale it up a little bit, but I don't think that's really possible. Or maybe this, but I would guess we run out of tungsten powder here soon. Hopefully we don't need to clarify any more of these anytime soon. Separate crystals. Maybe we should just have upgraded all of the crystal production. For now, we have plenty of these three types, so let's not. Don't use tier ones, please. to go and grab some tier fours, threes. Why didn't I bring the plane? It's all the way over there. I can probably actually use all of these. Or maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. Let's grab the plane and fly around and replace some leaching plants.
Oh well. We should put those back in the base. We should do that with everything we don't need here, actually. Cover tungsten still running at full speed. Yes, it is. Is it enough? Probably not. Are we gonna do any more about it? Probably not. Now we can get rid of all the low tier stuff. Good. So we have a couple of these, not a lot. We have a bunch of those though. Some of this. Actually, not as much as I would have thought. And then we just need more of these. Don't need more. Oh, we do need this little heat pipe. That's good at least. And we actually then also need the tier one. So I wasn't a bit fast to judging this, but yeah. I guess I'm fine with it then. Let's ignore my earlier outburst of frustration with the system. Still low on aluminium, of course, or oh, aluminium, both, basically. You can go and deliver that. We will run out of space here again at some point because of all the... whatever this is. But we'll just have to live with that. I really need to make a aluminium sorting facility at some point. See this running a bit again, hopefully. If this gets any of the aluminium at least, I can just steal a bunch, I guess. So I needed 14 right for each side. That sounds about right. 
Also, storage tank tier 4, we should start using. All corners, please. Get rid of those. Bring a bunch more of these. Still this from aluminium. And we are again. Okay. I can't believe how much trouble I went, went through to set up this base and then only just hanging on by a thread with how much stuff we need. I don't really care about the iron ore or this stuff or the cover ore or anything really. I guess this is nice to have mineral sludge and the geodes. But not for that amount of work that it was to set up. Mm. I should focus on stealing all the aluminium I can. You need to move to let the alumina train in. a little bit again. Well, we did actually get enough of these for the one side at least. But it would be nice with 28 to complete both sides, I guess. So that's gonna require even more aluminium. And we're out again, so I probably can't get there in any reasonable time. So let's just go with what we have. Sure thing. Oh, also we actually need something to... Grab the power from all of this. But this seems to do that just fine. We also need robot coverage. Which is gonna be a bit harder. basically need something in here. I mean, we can't do that pretty easily. And it shouldn't even really be a problem here. Oh, also this is not done. We need... Oh, we need to replace these first of all. Two more columns. And we actually make better robots than the tier two. We can. Maybe it's about time that we did something like that, but Right now, I'm not really going to worry about it, I don't think. So, we need to move 
all of this enough to have space for a robot. Let's just try this. Remove this. We can have the robot right here. No problem. This is probably fine. They are connected. They can't go any further though. We actually have quite a bit of space here. We do need heat pipes though. Hopefully this heat pipe is capable of carrying all the heat. But yeah, we can do something like this if we want to. We can also maybe just put another one here. Sure. Why not? I would like for all of this to just be a little bit more straight lines, at least with the power. This is fine, we still that will just be equivalent to that. And then this isn't straight, but that's okay. It's a bit prettier this way, and this will be moved as well. Yeah, I like that. And this is capable of covering all the way and connect to one over here. I'm pretty sure. So we will also need to wire all of these. Actually, let's keep it these closest to the wire they need to connect to, just to make sure that they can reach. Don't think it will be a problem, but anyway. No, that's not what you need. Uh, oh, I can't copy from it, that's why. Okay. Uh, plutonium fuel cell. Just five, I think. And connect that. Say if Steam. is above thing high this is when we start to take three so let's upgrade them oh we actually have the fuel already that makes sense i don't really want that though we also need to limit oh and they also need an output i need to remember that we might need more space for that stuff so these can each contain how much? Doesn't say. Grab one, put some water in, then it should say it. 100,000, and we have seven. Yeah. 
or 700,000 in here. How much steam is one fuel cell? Forty gigajoules. That's forty thousand megawatts per second. This can take 10 megawatts per second and produce 120 steam per second. So 4,000 times 120 steam. That's 480,000 steam that we can produce from one fuel cell. So actually, we, it would be nice with more storage than this, but maybe we're okay sometimes wasting a little bit more. If it is below, let's just say 300,000. And it's just not requesting anything for this yet. And yeah, it's not hard enough yet, but we need to move it anyway. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.